And so we bring you our prayers of thankfulness and request this morning. Loving Lord, we are here again today thanking you for the fellowship we share in this church, for all it offers, for all it means, and all the ways it enriches our lives and enlarges our experience. Thank you for the experience of unity in the worldwide church, the one church that we have been able to discover more of throughout our lives. It is wonderful to belong to that universal church that is yours, the church which has given us so many experiences and which has shown us such care, and for the care that we too have been able to show. Loving God, thank you for caring for us even though we cannot claim to be a perfect church. We are conscious of our weaknesses as individuals and as a community. We acknowledge that you have called us to be one people in fellowship with you and one another through our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord of all hopefulness, in these very bleak days for many of us in the world, we come to ask for your spirit to lift us out of the purely material and physical into the spiritual realm. We ask you to encourage and enliven us with fresh inspiration from your spirit. We pray for a realisation of our hope and purpose in you. Please bring us back to that assurance that we have a divine purpose in this world of yours. Bring us back to that place of faith where we know that your love never ceases, that your mercies are new every morning, and that your faithfulness is great. Lord of all hopefulness, hear our prayer. We bring before you all the suffering of the world, especially at this time all of our persecuted brothers and sisters. They are being mistreated, abused, often tortured and killed, and our media has very little to say about it. Please hear our call and be merciful to these people. Even in our own country, Christians are ridiculed and often despised. We pray for your spirit to give those of us who have to deal with these things the courage and faith to continue. We remember all who have gone before who upheld the faith. All the chapels and places of worship that were in evidence in the rough bands in the past Thank you for faithful servants like Alistair Roberts who wrote histories of these things, for documentation from historians from Josephus onwards who have written about your son's death on the cross 2,000 years ago, for the disciples who faithfully recorded the events of your son's life, for the myriad of books which we have at our disposal to encourage our faith, for all the music which leads us in worship, for the people who play musical instruments, for the encouragement this brings. For it all we thank you, our living, loving God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>